Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make butternut squash soup. Butternut is my favorite squash and every year in fall I eagerly wait to make a lot of dishes using butternut squash. So I hope you enjoy this easy recipe. Only 5 to 6 ingredients and it's a delicious, delicious soup. Now butternut squash, squash sorry, is only good in fall. In winter it tends to lose its sweetness. So make sure you make it only between the months of like September to November and then just, just leave it. The most difficult part about butternut squash is to peel and chop it, right? You can buy it already peeled and chopped, but why bother? Just, just, just chop it. Take about 15 20 minutes and chop it in big chunks because we will be pureeing everything in the end. Now once your butternut squash has been chopped, it's time to chop about a medium white onion. Same thing, chop it in big pieces. Don't try to mince it. We use white onion because it's less acidic and it gives a great great onion to use in your soup. When you make curries, we use red onions because it have more acid and more sugar. In a 3 or 4 quart saucepan, probably 4 quart because you will see in this video that the, 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 the pan was like really full but, but so I think it's better to use a four quart. Uh, I just melted some butter, I added some onion and salt and cooked these onions for about five minutes until they turn translucent. Stir it once in between and that should be good enough, pretty low maintenance. And all of this is happening on medium heat by the way. Once the onions have been translucent, it's time to add all of your butternut squash and mix it so that all of the butter gets mixed and applied to all of the butter squash. When that has happened, you should add two and a half cups of either vegetable stock or water. So I bought this vegetable bouillon from Costco and it's a, it's a paste of bouillon. So I don't have to like stock vegetable stock or chicken stock in my fridge or outside because I live in an apartment and space can be an issue. Mix the vegetable stock in it and then cover and cook it for about 25 minutes on low heat and make sure that the butternut squash is cooked and that's it. Once this has happened, it's time to puree all of the butternut squash in the blender. I'm using all of that together in one go but you can do it in batches. Make sure that the blender is on low and blend it for about 45 seconds or so. Make Definitely make sure that the blender is on low speed, otherwise you will end up burning yourself. And like I always say, I'm your cook, I'm not your doctor. Bring the soup back to the pot and it's time to adjust the seasonings, aka time to adjust the amount of salt and add all of your star anise. Now I know in the beginning of the video I showed you whole star anise and ground. We're only using ground star anise. The whole was just to show you how star anise looks like. It has a nice licorice flavor and it's very beautiful and elegant and sexy to use in fall. And your friends will think that you're very, very um, like uh, not complicated, you're very uh, sophisticated. So I think it's a good soup to make. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and happy Thanksgiving.